So here is my take on the uh, the mark of the beast. First of all, don't do it because I think it's bad. But let's go read it because I think some people get a little confused when with the word and. This is uh, Revelations chapter 14, starting at verse 9. And it says, Then another angel, a third one, following them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he also will drink of the wrath of God. So most people will say, some people, not most, some people will say that you can take the mark of the beast because the word and, it says, you have to worship the image, the beast, and take the mark. So if you don't do all three, then you're, you're, you're okay if you do one or two. I personally think that they go hand in hand, that you couldn't do one without the other. And I think if we just read a little further, it, I think we get a, a better understanding, a better, uh, uh, un, like a deeper understanding of it. And so let's keep reading. And they will drink of the wrath, the, the wine of the wrath of God, which is mixed with full strength in the cup of his anger. And he will be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. So clearly, if you do this, you're going to have all kinds of punishments coming upon you. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Uh, verse 11, and the smoke of their torment ascended forever and ever, which means pretty much this is you're in hell that you're not saved and and they have no rest in day and night and and those who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name so i think verse 11 says that if you take the mark you will not be saved so the 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 prior verses verse 9 says that if you if you worship his image worship the beast and worship and take the mark so it's saying all three i think verse 11 saying if you do this one you're screwed if you do this one you're screwed and if you do the third one you're screwed so i don't believe that you can take the mark i do know other preachers that will say that you're going to have to take that mark to be able to buy and sell i prefer that i would i would be more cautious of that uh than to to lean that way i hope this helps